United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, a Russian state-owned enterprise, tested the latest variant of the Su-57 stealth fighter on October 21 near Moscow. The release from UAS did not make it clear whether the aircraft was tested with the long-awaited Isdali-30 engine. The lack of Isdali-30 is one of two reasons why the Su-57 Felon is still designated as a 4 plus generation fighter. The second reason may be the lack of an azimuth sensor. Russia markets its product as an absolute azimuth fighter, a 360-degree sensitive capacity. Based on open source data, a similar technology, notably the azimuth sensor, has not yet been created in Russia. The previous announcement came in mid-2021 when it was stated, by Western sources, that Russian professionals from several research and development institutes were near to developing the sensor. The flying test that the Su-57 carried out a few days ago was a test of a new technology, which integrates the aircraft systems. It is a clever system that allows pilots to focus on other operational duties while the aircraft is flying. In accordance with these experiments, UAS reported that a new weapon was also being tested, but did not identify what the target was. According to Yuri Slesar, Director General of UAC, in the future, a system of intelligence sensors would manage the aircraft. This is what was tested on the flight on October 21. The aircraft is given the functions of co-piloting and preparation for employment of armaments, while the pilot is concentrating on other essential functions. Reporting from the Bulgarian military website, in February last year, it was also reported about the likelihood of a similar alteration. Then Nikita Dorofiev, who was part of the cockpit designer of the Sukhoi Su-57 Felon, indicated in an interview that such a potential exists. A few months later, Dorofiev gave a second interview to Russian media, suggesting that the next integration into the intelligent Su-57 would include eye and voice pilot control of the aircraft. Sources in Russia, including Dorofiev, say that UAC has manufactured this prototype. There is a probable second function. The aircraft's voice command was tried on October 21. Rafael Sulimanov, a test pilot at UAC, revealed that the jet is actively learning the terms used. However, Sulaymanov did not explain whether at the time of the flight test the aircraft was being trained or whether another aircraft, a prototype, was being tested on the ground. It is also unclear whether the additional sensor capabilities of the Su-57 being tested is genuinely an unmanned version of the aircraft. In 2020, Bulgarian military stated that Russia was working on an unmanned variant of the fighter. Later, the information that came to us was that these functions were being tested in the UAK laboratory. Russia announced that the Su-57 would have an unmanned version in the same year. Sulaymanov classified the Su-57 Philon as a powerful weapon in the hands of the pilot. According to the pilot, the Su-57 is dangerous in all weather situations and at all latitudes. This is in keeping with Russia's statement that it has officially verified that the Su-57 has taken part in the battle in Ukraine.